What do you want in return? Ever since I was a little boy, I wanted to grow up and marry the most beautiful woman in the world. So here I am, with a thousand ships and two good hands. What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another Game of Thrones Season 8 update video. This will be a relatively short video, but I have always said I would keep you up to date with any Game of Thrones news. There is a new spoiler which is compliments of Watchers on the Wall, and this one has to do with our one true queen, Cersei of House Lannister. According to this report, Cersei Lannister's body double has been brought back for some additional filming for the 8th and final season. Her name is Rebecca Von Cleave, and you should remember her from the season 5 finale. Well, I should say you might remember her body, because it was used for Cersei's walk of shame. I actually remember when I first watched this episode, I had no idea Lena Headey was using a body double. I thought she had actually gotten naked for the scene. But I later found out it was not her body. They just added her head in post-production. What's interesting is, it looks like her casting agency actually posted this on Twitter themselves, which is definitely a mistake on their part. It usually doesn't take too long for Game of Thrones fans to sniff these kind of things out and turn it into headlines all over the internet. In their tweet, they also said Rebecca would be repeating her exact role for Season 8, so that means we will most likely see Cersei Lannister naked again. Since Cersei completely extinguished the Faith of the Seven in King's Landing, I doubt we will ever see her make another Walk of Atonement. So now the question is, why is Cersei Lannister getting naked? Jaime Lannister is no longer there, so we probably won't be seeing any more sex scenes with them either. I do have a few different ideas for why she needs a body double again, but I should preface this by saying this is all speculation. But I will base this on a few things from Season 7. As we all know, Cersei Lannister has been claiming she is pregnant, and the reason why I say it like that is because I know some people do not believe her, but I actually do. I'm sure most of you are aware that the entire plot leaked last season, and it was amazingly accurate. The leak said Cersei would be pregnant, but it also said Cersei would wake up in a bed of blood in the finale. They did end up cutting that scene out of the finale, obviously, and I think they did it because the episode was already so long. And I also believe they cut the scene out to save it for season 8. They could use her miscarriage to set the tone for Cersei's actions next season. I believe when Cersei loses this baby, she's gonna go on a rampage, because then she would truly have nothing, or no one left which would ultimately mean Cersei has nothing else to live for. So, I think that could be one reason why we may see Cersei naked in Season 8. There is a very good chance we will see her wake up in a bed of blood still. If she did wake up covered in blood, she might panic and start ripping her clothes off. Or we might see someone put her in a bath to clean her off. Or even Kyburn may check her out afterwards to make sure she's alright. But those are just a few options though. Another reason why Cersei might be naked next season is because of her alliance with Euron Greyjoy. In one of my previous videos, I talked about Euron possibly making some more aggressive advances at Cersei now that Jaime is gone. Since Jaime will no longer be standing in between Cersei and Euron, he might see that as an opportunity to get even closer to Cersei. If Cersei does happen to sleep with Euron next season, this could implicate something very significant. Back in Season 7, Episode 3, Euron told Cersei there is only one thing that he wants. And Cersei did say he can have anything that his heart desires after they win the war. You've proven yourself the greatest captain on the 14 seas. And a true friend to the crown. You deserve more than a true friend. And you deserve a proper reward for your heroism. There's only one reward I want. You shall have what your heart desires. When the war is won. I think this is something we need to keep in mind and consider because if Cersei's body double was brought back to get naked again, it could be for a sex scene. And if Cersei is sleeping with Euron, this could mean they were victorious. She basically said Euron could have her after he helped her win the war. Thanks to some of the other set photos, we know Winterfell will come under attack next season, and some people have speculated that this may be the Golden Company attacking, or even Cersei's wildfire burning the Starks' home. 
If they somehow manage to catch the North with their pants down and sack the castle and burn it down, Cersei may let Euron taste her minge. These are just some guesses though. There is one other reason why I think Cersei may need a body double next season, and I think we should also consider that this might not be a nude scene. The tweet did say it was a repeat role, but maybe they just meant she was standing in for Cersei again, and not necessarily getting naked. If that's the case, she may need this body double because Cersei gets killed next season. If Cersei gets roughed up and strangled to death, Lena Headey may have wanted someone else to stand in to do that scene for her. I know it's still way too early to tell what her role's gonna be, but I'm not gonna rule anything out. It is the final season, and anything can happen. Depending how bad of a death Cersei may have, she could need a body double to do it for her, but we're gonna have to wait and see if any more developments come out. These are just a few of my initial thoughts. If you have any ideas that I did not mention, please put them down below in the comment section because I would love to hear them. I'm always open for suggestions. I want to thank everyone for stopping by to watch this quick update video. I appreciate that as always. And I also want to thank those of you who support this channel on Patreon. Have a great day, everyone. I will see you again very soon. Bye.